Representative Todd and, my, and myself, and soon to be, you know, Senator uh, Drew Kanuha. Um, uh, we're just up here, to, and of course, my wife Maria, who I dragged through everything, <laughs> is, uh, you know, we're just out doing our due diligence to get a chance to. Uh, went up to Mauna Kea, we looked at Hale Pohaku, we went up to the site, different things like that, and part of our, our trek up to Mauna, uh, we couldn't pass uh, Haleoku Hill here without stopping, yeah? And I've mm -hmm. stopped there several times before, a few days after you guys constructed the site. I actually didn't know that the site was removed a few weeks ago. No. But when I passed it the other day, I noticed it never looked like the place I remember. <laughs> and then I found out later that uh, it was removed a few weeks ago. So, um... No, only two days. Well, two days, okay. See, that's how much I know. But the so, reason that was caused because some community member, I guess, put the word "soul owner," and obviously it was a you know that was a lie. But um, I guess the department went after that individual, and that individual got a complaint of arrest and um, criminal charges. And so I told them they got the wrong guy. They're talking to beneficiaries, not non-beneficiaries. So the letter wasn't meant for us. It was meant for that person. So that person has to deal with what he said or she said, yeah. But it didn't, what well, that, that, it worked for the time being, but we had to expand because of the, um, I know Opula Pula, if you guys notice, we have the Ohia. So we're kind of like following the Prince Kuhil legacy. So we're trying to keep it in the most natural consensus, yeah? yeah. So everything got a little bit expanded, a little bit. But that wasn't really much of a issue. Uh, it was mostly, it was going to happen anyway, the improvements, because that's part of the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act. And so that's why I guess today when you guys came, um, this is basically what we were um, studying and going over reviewing, is the constitutional uh, obligations that the state um, has and has failed. Um, so we're here just reminding everybody about the obligations within the act, about powers, jurisdictions, and I know Ho'opulopule in general. And so when people talk about development, there's a framework for development within this structure. Yeah. And these lands that you guys are on are from the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act 1921. Um, this is before statehood and before all was thought about. And within that framework, um, this is constitutionally backed by the president and congression. Yeah. And these are the things that's supposed to be fulfilled and mandated. And so by us being here, it's because of the issues of homelessness crisis. It's because of the jobs that we don't have and the access we, we've never received. So we are here just to make sure that whoever is representing their constituents and seeing um, their allegiance to the Constitution, well, now we have uh, articles to review. So we are following these things. And it's just not a in sporadic um, feelings because we know a lot of feelings are getting, you know, misconstrued about what's going on over here. Yeah. You know, oh, because if you guys look over my shoulder, you see Uncle Sunny Kaniho, yeah, and I, that, and that's and that's and that's part of the big reason why we're here. When when Uncle Sunny Kaniho, you guys got to PDF him and check out the reading on that. You know, he states things that are basically out of the Congressional Act. And so, this kind of awareness, King's Landing, Kahiki Nui, and also the tragic death of Kahale Smith, is all from not knowing this. Kahale Smith, if you guys don't know, he's the one that was challenging the structure of what was being said to what was actually applied. He cuffed himself down, lit the house, everybody watch him burn. They watched him burn. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. To watch somebody burn on Hawaiian homes because people didn't even know what was their duties. And that sacrificed a life. And that life is never going to be ever brought and never is going to be forgotten. And so by these acts, Uncle Sonny Kanijo's act, right? They sent everybody and everything after him. All he was trying to express was the community never had its opportunity to do process not to our laws what is the law what is due process the due process I thought was congressional law not state or county 
overriding the congressional act, but it seems like it's either people have not read or people are making personal judgment calls. And that's where I think this is where the awareness stems at right here, right now, is that we're not seeing that this is mines per se. We're seeing that the state lands around here, we have clear understanding that all lands that are not developed shall assume the titles of Hawaiian homes. We're not seeing that it could possibly be. The Congressional Act describes these things. And so we are just trying to be proactive on the homelessness, which oh, I cannot pay my rent. You know what I mean? Like that's just the reality, the rent, the housing issue, the job availabilities, everything is stacked up against us. But there's available lands that will take away the two biggest issues that we have, food and housing. Food and housing, then we can have a better structure of what's going on because other than that, we're fighting for things that are unattainable. They're unattainable, they're out of reach. And we cannot be lying about it because it's out of reach. $1,400 two bedroom helo, that's out of reach. Ten dollars, right, and that's at $10 an hour. The stats has shown itself for this last time and so this data collection, so as you guys can think, I presented this to the, the, um, the department. This is not ours for here to stay and live. We're collecting data. They tell us no more money. We tell them we just did the count. And now where's that money going? Where's that support coming from? Because the only option they could say was no more money. And we said, oh, okay, yeah, 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 right, right, no more money. Then something told me, what, what do we do best when we go back college? Study. Study, do data collection. And that's what you guys see today, Hello? is data collecting. Because why? Because now we're bringing transparency to, we already bust two tree guys trying to steal, help three, four guys sprain knees, Japanese lady bust her arm, right? Guys, no more gas. You name it, you name it. You name it, middle of the night, two o'clock in the morning, yeah? Abuse, gunfires, right? And it's all happening right here. Right over here, the, 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 these issues right here. And that's why we was telling to ourselves, there cannot be this much land and there cannot be a community pastoral or there cannot be community access. Molokai showed that it can be. Kyokawapaniava is second only one day after Molokai develops. We should be having programs developed for these issues. The programs are already within the, it's within the documentation. It's within the first seven pages of the Hawaiian Homes Commission. You don't have to read it more than 20. Let's not get confused about yeah. the price of living today. Even yeah. if it was even if it was affordable. What's being done on Hawaiian homes to the Kokopoyo Hawaii is happening. Oh. It's not happening today. It happened a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We've got books and books and books and books that talks about mm -hmm. the breach of trust. How much more breaches has to go on before we all start opening our eyes and maybe empty our pockets? Stop taking bribes, because when you take care of the Hawaiian people, you take care of everybody. But somehow they get the thought that if you take care of the Hawaiian, we all gonna get screwed. So let's screw the Hawaiian first. No, Let's screw the Hawaiian first before we get screwed. So now that the Hawaiian know, and we've always known, we needed to know who we were first. You see, we already knew about the treaty, the, the, the treaty with the United States. We knew it was breached by the United States. They fraudulently submitted a joint resolution. <laughs> But before we could bring that out, mm -hmm. our people needed to know who they were first. Where do you come from? What is your identity? What is your relationship? Because it had been stolen from us, ripped from us, raped from us. Amen. And we continue to be raped. So even if the price out there was right, what's happening here is wrong. So right now, yes, a lot of our young people are suffering. Don't make that the issue. The issue is that what needs to be done correctly is not being done. 
So I don't know if it's falling on deaf ears or maybe, I don't know, everybody's pockets get more change in it. I don't know. But nobody wants to address this issue because the authority falls on the Hawaiian people. When you read the truth of that act, it doesn't fall on a corporation or anything no. else but the Hawaiian people. The Hawaiian people. So when we unite, no matter what your shirt says, no matter where I work, mm -hmm. no matter what tool I use to dig that hole, we all need to come together. This is a big, huge canoe, and it's sinking, even though you think it looks like it's floating. It's sinking, and we're all going to be at war with each other if we don't unite. Because mm -hmm. people are already investing here that we don't even know. Exchange, 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 and I'm the one being exchanged for it. I'm not for sale. Mm. I'm not for sale. So I, I don't know, sometimes we have to bring to the point, yeah. one day you're not gonna be here for your daughter, right. or your grandchildren, or your great-grandchildren. So we gotta think about where our morals, our values, and our ethics right now. Because we kupuna. Mm -hmm. And the values of what our kupunas used to be, even though they were stomped on, beat on, trampled on, they gave us something of greater value than the dollar bill that's in our pocket. Land. And each other. And a spirit. A spirit of right and wrong. Because if we cannot look across the table at each other in our eyes mm -hmm. and begin to help one another, we're pop. Mm -hmm. yeah. We might as well call ourselves Chinese or something. Because they're already here. So either we can make this an international central for peace, starting right here at this point, Aohua, right here. Kiyoko is right here. Whether you believe in Kiyoko or not, it's right here. And every island is on the skirt of Mauna Kea. So you don't have to be up here to be on Mauna Kea. You can be on the lowest point on any island, and you're going to be on Mauna Kea. So all this logic about, oh, you got to be on Mauna Kea, come on. Stop. So right here, when we start right here with these boys, this is the new generation. So are you? Yes. You are not the, our generation. I pow already. No, you're not pow. I kupuna. I pow. <laughs> you're not pow. <laughs> but you first have to think. Okay. It's just like the Kalima case. Mm -hmm. I was in the Kalima case. You know how many years that was, brother? I don't think he was born yet. We were in the Kalima case. That is the case that came out that when us homesteaders was renting, they promised us no more rent. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you compensation and back on the land. Mm -hmm. That was before 19, that was after 1980, <laughs> Kalima case, and I was part of it. Not one cent today. Nothing. Nothing today. Well, no fall yet, though, eh? There's one no fall yet. Yeah, so but look, everybody's dying on the list. <laughs> Mrs. Kalima is, what, not here. I gonna die pretty soon. Yeah. Not that yeah. soon. Nothing that soon. done for us to back pay all the rent. In 1960, I applied. My Pala Pala, my Pala Pala, when I went to the hearing at the Hawaiian homestead, I showed manual. I said, manual, look, 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 Rams, look at this paper. Oh, yellow. Mm. And I never had my land till 1986. Nothing, nothing for us. Nothing. So I think we can all sit here, we can identify all the wrongs. We can identify all the mistakes. But it's you best belief that it's our responsibility. Mm -hmm. Fault and responsibility are two different things. We can look at all the fault. 
You know what? Day old, yes. I'm not going to sit back and wait for it. Right. It's our responsibility to make sure that it happens. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm still here. So if we are to bring some kind of dignity to the system that currently exists, and a lot of job positions that our people need in order to survive, even though their heart, oh, I see plenty. They're heartbroken because they got to work for a system that's mutilating their people, their own family. Mm -hmm. But that's the job they got to take. Mm -hmm. That's real welfare. That is. Because it's breaking our people down. So I don't know, are you part of that or are you not a part of that? But it's our responsibility to correct it. It's our responsibility to make it right. How can we do this? How can you help us? How can you help us make this right? All of us. We all got to come in. It's not who you work for. It's who you are inside that makes the difference. So how can we help each other to make this, make this right? One day you guys are going to be kupuna too. <laughs> Welcome to the organization. <laughs> hey, funny. Our sure, Reverend Cole, from being at DLNR, that lands, our Hawaiian lands, most of it. Now to jump from here to here to here. When when he's running for Oha, Wally, my mana'o and my na'o is looking at the money the money object, and I'll tell you this, and I'll tell you this. When they get in Oha, they're going to control that money. And when they control that money, they're going to be, if William Isla gets in and Ki'aina e Kalamayaoe, that's Department of Interior. Yeah. We going to be on the shed list. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you something, brother. As God is my witness, if anybody comes to my little 10,000 acres, Hawaiian homestead in Kamawela, mm -hmm. and tell me I cannot raise one chicken, I freaking gonna shoot his ass. <laughs> but that's what's gonna happen, because I will not, as a as a lessee, and as a kanaka ole, it's going to be under the Department of Interior. I will not accept it. One thing good though, but when we leave out of here, I really truly believe we're stronger on this island than having other people speak on behalf. And that's what I truly believe, and I think we have displayed it, maybe not in the public view yet, only amongst the mm -hmm. department, mm -hmm. the unity, mm -hmm. amongst MOCA and the six districts of the waiters, mm -hmm. right? That mm -hmm. we are educated enough and we do have enough support, and these things are for all the Hawaiian people. Everyone. It's not just for the Sunday. for the Kekis. If you read this, there's three states of Hawaiian people. The Hawaiian with Coco who can go in homestead, and there's part for the other brothers and sisters who was here. If you don't believe, you gotta read. Got to but, read but those things are here. That's Hawaiian. And so that's why this, this, how, how what we agreed organically, I see that it hadn't, it, it never disappeared. And now that, now that they're cutting these meetings in halves, I see now why they're scared, right? We have the guidance, we have our kupunas, we have our uncles. And so I think if you guys understand that before you guys leave that, you know, we are one moku, yeah? We're not here fractioning the districts. We're not here calling the DLNR out. We're not here calling the governor out. We're here to call out for the injustice of the federal codes that needs to be upholded. That's what we're calling out for. And and, and like we said, if one guy got to get arrested, we don't need to arrest everybody. We only get one guy for go down. But, really all can but that's <laughs> but that's how professional we like be about this. Right. Yeah, we don't want to be sloppy about this, right? We don't want to get intentions and people's emotions running wild. We want it to be civil. We want it to be understanding where you know you guys got our contact. We got your guys contact. Mm -hmm. You guys now know why we, we shaka to you guys. We're not sh we're not showing fingers because we're looking for the same respect back, right? We're not here for taunt anybody. But I'm happy you guys came. Now we share with you guys of um, our kuleana, yeah? Because people thought it was just us against everybody. This no, this is everybody's battle, yeah? No matter what jersey we're using, at the end of the day, we Hawaiian. At the end of the day, we all eat, we all sleep. So I think, you know, for everybody to move forward better, I think I, I feel better that we got to talk to you guys mm -hmm. a little bit more to explain that, you know, 
this is the structure we're running within the playbook you like know the playbook the playbook is available the department guys have it and that's we're not we're not infractioning on anything well we need to do more conversations like yeah. this we do um i was looking forward to Ooh. the meeting next week yeah we plan everything preparation for my meeting uh with yeah. dhhl in two weeks yeah but beyond the commissioners and beyond you know legislator visits more community meetings we need to have more yes. conversations like this in Waimea, and in we, Kona, And we have Uncle Sam Zilo. guys too. We have the yeah. smart kupuna. Yeah. They are national treasures. They won't pass away within a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can give the lessons. Yeah. The best lessons. You know what I mean? This is all they do. You know what I mean? They don't do nothing else. They don't watch sports. <laughs> Hawaiian Homes Commissioner. And I think that can benefit all of us okay. to understand that matters. You know what? I look at what I've seen what's happening with all this other org all this all these politicians and all this kind of stuff after the primary everything went stop went stop everything went stop after the primary yeah and i said something is freaking happening you talk about the lava flow at leilani estates this is worse it stopped everything stopped nothing even us in waimea all of a sudden Quite no more meetings all of a sudden Mm. Are you good? No, no more meetings, no more nothing, nobody talking. So that means nobody should be getting paid. I mean, <laughs> hey, I mean nobody should married. be getting paid with your guys' money. I'm not kidding. These are DHHL assets in Kona. Laupua, Laupua. Yeah. Laupua, you get Kona. It's all mostly on Kona as well. Laupua. Laupua. Are you talking about Homestead? Yes. Yeah. You gotta remember Kealakehi School is on our yeah, yeah. our land. Oh yeah, it's all home. You gotta you gotta remember West Civic Center is on our land. Would the county get there? That's on our land. That's on my home land. So the county lease on the show. Yeah. And I'm I I'm no I'm I'm sorry to go out of bounds right now. But you remember that girl that got killed? That was living under the under the tunnels. Oh yeah, yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Read, please go, go get that copy, go Google it and stuff. Read about her. She was murdered, or she committed suicide. But they have a land, they have a, a city, a Only little city. village, in the in underneath where La Iokoi is, Point right State. across West Hawaii Civic Center. Huh. That's where the homeless were living. Beautiful 17-year-old girl, beautiful. Beautiful. You gotta read that. Okay. Please read it because it touches our generation and you two guys are part of this generation yeah. on that 17 year old girl that got killed and living on Hawaiian homestead in those dwellings. It was big. The construction mm. didn't take that big barrels. That drums or whatever mm. you call that. Left for COVID. Thing. Mm. That, COVID. That, that COVID. Culvert. Culvert. That's where they were living. People still live there now. They closed it. Oh. So the parents went down. The beautiful article went in to see where she was living. Wow. And she was an artist. Mm. Beautiful artist. Maki. Is that what we want for our yeah. generation, Wally? Mm -hmm. No. Let alone a Hawaiian homelands, right? We don't can even get on. No. You, know? you we, come you come to We have to go. Okay, we gotta take but a picture. Before we go, uh, Auntie Max, you can pull it cock off. Pull it cock off. Sure. Yeah, okay. Pull it cock off. This is just the beginning. Uh, it better come to an end pretty soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not for a day. I swear 200 years of oppression. Okay? Hey, pull it cock off. Aloha, ha the breath of life. When God made man, he made man in his image. And what did he put in man? The breath, the breath of life. And he made you folks. And he said, now man is me. He owns this land, don't forget that. He gave it to all of us. Everybody here, he gave you land and me land to prosper, to bring in your children and your grandchildren. The birds, the bees, the peepee, -pee, everything. That was food resource for us. 
thank him every day for it. Thank him for, look, your wife, your husband, kekani, kevaime. That's where you folks belong, each other. Hold the hands. Feel the cocoa that going through. Feel the fight. Feel the law that going through with our hands. Remember, man is not our God. Kia kua is our God. Please, let us kuka, kuka moa. Our mo'olelo has to be sheltered from all the pastures and the agriculture lands and the residential lands of what, 1920. Mahalo our prince. Mahalo Queen Lili Ukalan, who put us on this land actually. Queen Emma Awawali's, who seen the health, the may I to feed the Hawaiians, and man came to destroy later. Continue on, all of us, please. Let us walk in the same path. Let us love in the same path. Let us hold hand and our hearts together. Our blue And I thank you, Akua. Thank you, folks. Even though you folks were late, it is better late than never. Yeah. And maybe, hi, Alona, this had to happen. Yeah. Thank you. Please, please invite us in into your folks' Pu'uvai as we hold each other so tight. Let us not forget we are not enemies. We are your brothers and your sisters. I am your kupuna. Mahalo ke akua for bringing us together. Gather our people, Lord. Gather our people so you are the creator. You are the one that we depend on. You are the one that love us. You died on the cross for us to forgive all our sins. Continue to be our savior. Let us walk together, talk together, love together, for our, not only for me, but your children and your children's children. E hava inei, ho mau, ho mau. Mahalo ke akua, accept my prayer, and among us accept us. Oh, eh, yeah, Crystal. Amen. 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 Mahalo anui lo kaku. Mahalo. Mahalo.